Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. The objective of us teaching is to wake you brothers and sisters up to who you are in the Bible. You are known in the Bible as the Israelites that the Bible talks about. When you open up the Bible and you read in the Bible, you're reading about your forefathers and foremost. You're not reading about other people. You're reading about yourself. You're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. The greatest book that was ever put on this planet, and whose history doesn't record, you blacks and Hispanics. But you have not been taught that. So we're out here to dispense this information to you. That's what our job is. We're not out here for a show. We're not out here to sing and dance and entertain you. We're here to give you God's word. Because our people have been taught lies on the Bible. I can tell you jealous. Ain't nothing they can tell us. They say I'm overzealous. Hell no, you just rebellious. Put these heathens up in fetters. Remember how they did us. Oh no, I can't forget it. We gon' make their ass regret it. I've been hoping on the wisdom. Ever since I met her, we got it, the devil. I want this forever. Lord, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Gotta gather up together. These commitments make us better. Bread of adversity, water of affliction. Look at our conditions, had to get it out the trenches. Put them teachers on the streets. We gotta build our people's spirit up. Sin, I had to give it up. Feel like I done did too much, so I go harder for the Lord. I can never do enough, so I just keep doing more. What the hell you waiting for? You know the rules, what you say, you gotta prove. When we blameless, we can't lose life or death, you gotta choose now. That's the problem with our people. Give me, um, go back to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 real quick. Read verse 1. Watch this read. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season. You see that? To everything there is a season. Read. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. And a time to every purpose under heaven. Guess what? When they had our people in these shackles and these chains, they had hatred for us. You don't think God hate, hated that they did this to us? He, he sent them, he sent them to sent this 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 uh curse on us. You understand what I'm saying? But he didn't like it. We brought it upon ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But the scripture says what? Read it again from the top. To everything there is a season. Everything has a season. You understand what I'm saying? But you know what the white man has done to the praise of our people? They taught us to love everything except ourselves. Yes, everything. We love everything except the, the, the reflection in the mirror. You know how I know that? Look at our women. They coloring their hair. They putting weave in. They trying to straighten it out. When God said that they got the most beautiful hair on the planet. You understand what I'm saying? That's what God said. You understand what I'm saying? Give me that Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6. That's why we out here to teach our people to love themselves. You understand what I'm saying? And in turn, once we begin to love ourselves, the other nations are going to look at that as we hate them. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to look like we exclude them. And they hate that. So they've programmed us to, to, be un, to have unconditional love for them, but conditional love for, for each other. Watch this read. Bring it up. Run. Chapter 7, verse 6. Read what God says. Read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. God is talking to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He said that we are holy. Holy means separate. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Stop. He did what? Chosen hath chosen thee. thee. That means he chose. If you choose something, that means something else didn't get chosen. Read. To be a special people. He said he chose us to be special. If, if, if something is special, that means it's some other regular things. Read. Unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said that he chose the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They are above all people. They are above the Arabs. Right. They are above the Chinese man. You understand what I'm saying? They are above any Asian man. You understand what I'm saying? We are above all races. That's what God said. And if you have a problem with that, you hate God. Right. What about your hatred for God? You understand what I'm saying? Read it again from the top. But thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said we're supposed to be above all people on the face of the earth. 
You understand? Give me that Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. Because we got to read the benefits that the Lord gave to us. What's your name, bro? Sean. Sean, I'm Uzziah. Watch this. I want you to pay attention to the benefits God gave to you. You understand what I'm saying? And then the other nations going to look at this like this hatred. But all we're doing is reading the word of God. You understand? Watch this read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. Come on. And it shall come to pass. He said it's going to, it shall come to man pass. That means that this is going to happen. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearkening diligently means that you're doing everything that this Bible says. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you're seeing us do. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He gonna do what? Set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Does that sound like equality, Sean? He said if we do what he said, he was gonna put us above all nations. What's a nation? Another word for a nation is a race. You understand? Read it again. Okay. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently until the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He said we're going to be above all nations. You got to love that. You understand what I'm saying? He said he's going to put us above every nation. That's what we got to come to the understanding. He said we supposed to understand that. Even that in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Our people that's in these churches every Sunday they ignore that scripture. They ignore it. But this is the word of God. And if you're against it, you have hatred for God. And God ain't going to play on that day. He's going to put you to death. Watch this read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. Read it again. Blessed is he that read it. Read it. So guess what? All our people are saying, I love God, not my God. I love God. Thank you, Jesus. God said what? Blessed is he that read it. God said blessed is he that read it. Read it what? That's right. The word of God. Right. Our people ain't read the word of God. That's why they looking at us like we saying, like we saying some hate speak and hate speech right now. We just reading the Bible. They don't know God. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. He said blessed are they that read it and hear the words of this prophecy. What prophecy? Get Revelation 13 to verse 9. We're going to get down to the root and root, the root of the tutor. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. We're going to get out to it. This is real. This real love for our people. You understand what I'm saying? Because we done tried everything else. We done tried economics. We done tried politics. We done tried everything else. What did we end up? At the bottom of society. Serving every other nation. Every other nation got a gas station or restaurant or store in your neighborhood. And you come, you come faithfully and help them keep the lights on. You understand what I'm saying? But we've been programmed not to even train. We've been programmed and trained to not even patronize our own people's stuff. We look at that as second nature, second class. You understand what I'm saying? But that's because the slave master programmed you. God trying to wash your brain right now. Watch this. It said, blessed is he that readeth and hear the words of this prophecy. This is the prophecy. Read. Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So we all got ears, but some of our ears don't work. We better find out if y'all ears work. Read. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. God said, he that leadeth into captivity. Who put the blacks and Hispanics in slavery? What race of man did that? Africans and white people. Why exactly. The white man, the Arab man, the sub-Saharan slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade. Guess what? That's Bible prophecy. God talking about that. Well, that's right. Read it again from the top. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity, read. Shall go into captivity. They going in slavery. They going in chains. That's what God said. That's right. Read. He that killed him with the sword. They killed us. They raped and robbed, raped, robbed and murdered our forefathers. You understand what I'm saying? They packed us like sardines in them slave boats. We was doodling and peeing on each other. You understand what I'm saying? That happened. That's true. God said, the people that did that, they going in slavery. The people that killed us, they going to be killed. That's, the That's why the Bible said, blessed is he that read it. Read on. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. God said, he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's got to be part of your faith. If you don't have faith that we're going to receive justice, right. you don't believe in God. That's you right. don't believe. Go into captivity. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. 
with the soul. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. God said, this is your faith. If you a saint, that's your faith. That the white man, the Arab man, the Chinese man, they all going in change. They all going in change. That's what the Bible said. Give me that Isaiah chapter 14. If you don't believe that, you might want to leave the church. Leave the church. Because you're going to hell with that pastor. That's right. Read. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1. We're going to read about the kingdom of heaven. We're going to read about the kingdom of heaven. Read. But the Lord would have mercy on Jacob. God said he's going to have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. That's who Jacob is. Y'all paying attention? Pay attention. Read it again. But the Lord would have mercy on Jacob. That's who God going to have mercy on. He didn't say he was going to have mercy on nobody else. Read. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to choose who? Israel. He didn't say he's going to choose the Chinese, man. He didn't say he's going to choose the Arab, man. Read. And set them in their own land. We going back to our own land. This ain't our land. You understand what I'm saying? Our land is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. That's the part of Africa we from. Jerusalem. That's the part of Africa we from. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers is the other nation. So all nations are going to be there. But guess what? Everybody going to play their role. You understand? Just like we playing our role, we the slave class in America. Right. We, have to, we work all, like the brother was bringing up, we work all the poor jobs. We the, we the trash man. We the, uh, we the cashier at McDonald's. Drive, working the drive through We sweeping the gas station lot. That's us. That's Guess right. what? In the kingdom is going to be that same type of order, except we going to be on top. Watch this read. Right. And they shall cling to the house of Jacob. Read. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. We going to take them and bring them there, read. In the house of Israel shall possess them. We gonna do what? Possess them. God said we gonna possess the nations. If I possess you, what that mean? I own you. Right. That's what God said. This is what's gonna happen in the kingdom of heaven. Read on. In the land of the Lord. In the land of the Lord. The land of the Lord is Jerusalem. That's the land of the Lord. Read. For servants. What they gonna be? For servants. servants. What the Chinese man gonna be? Servants. What the Arab man gonna be? Servants. Read. In heaven. And what? In heaven. That's what they were all going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Slaves. That's right. That's and that right. has to be part of your faith. That's justice for the rape, rob, and murder of the so-called African-American, the so-called Native American and Hispanic. That's God's justice. When Christ cracked that sky, all nations going in slavery. Right. That's, That's what right. the Bible says. Give me that Revelation 1 and verse 3 again. That's why the Bible says this. That's why we have to read the Bible. You understand right now? These pastors in these churches got our people, people head warped up. You understand right. what I'm saying? They, they mind scrambled. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Read. Blessed is he that read it. That's why the Bible said blessed is he that read it. Did you know that that was in the Bible? Did you know? Guess what? They going in chains. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 60. It is what it is. That's a prophecy. That's, pro that's prophetic. It hasn't happened yet, but it's going to. It that's out, what brother. the Bible is. It's a Bible of prophecy. No other book has, a, the record, has recorded the prophecies that this Bible has. Watch this read. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. And the sons of strangers, the sons of strangers, the nations, the other races, read. Shall build up thy wall. They going to build our kingdom. That's what they've been uh, uh, going in slavery for. So they can rebuild our kingdom. Right, right. You understand? That's what God said. All the white men, all the Arab men, all the Chinese men, they going to build the kingdom. That's, right. That's what God says. Read. And their king shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee. You see that? God said in his wrath he smote them. Read. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. You see that? In his favor he had mercy on us. Read. Therefore thy gates shall be Oh, Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Our gates gonna be open continually. Why? Read. They shall not be shut day nor night, Read. that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. You see that? Our gates ain't gonna never be closed. They gotta, they gotta give us all our gold back. They gotta give us all our precious minerals back. They gotta give us everything. God made this planet for us. We were supposed to rule it. Give me that uh, Exodus chapter 19. Right now, everything turned upside down, but it's. Right now, everything that's happening is to bring everything back to its original state. Us being on top. That's why we got to come back to God's laws, that's his commandments, so we can be uh, 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 delivered from the impending uh, destruction that's coming. 19 and verse 5, come on. 
Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. A what? Above all people. You see what God talking about? He wants his people above all people. Yes, Read. For all the earth is mine. What? For all the earth is mine. And if we God's children, the earth has too. Read. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. A what? A kingdom of priests. Every black, Hispanic, and Native American man is supposed to be a priest. That's his role on the planet. We're supposed to be out teaching this Bible to our people. You understand what I'm saying? Read. And in holy nation. And a what? A holy nation. These are the these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. You, you the children of Israel. All of y'all in these cars, y'all are the children of Israel. You understand what I'm saying? You're not a black man. You're not a Hispanic man. You're not a Native American. You're the children of God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.